Hello guys and welcome once again to the sewing workshop. Today I will be showing you how I um, made this pocket on this outfit. It's just a simple outfit you can see. It just has a pipe neck and a shoulder zipper and um, just a three black line at the sleeve. Just a simple style but mature and I'm poached. <laughs> so I'm just going to put you guys through the process of how to make this um, puff pocket. You can see that it's a very simple pocket, which is the major design on the outfit. So I'll be showing you guys this um, how I make this pocket from A to Z. So I want you guys to pay closer attention to every details and um, if you yet to subscribe to my channel i would like if you can subscribe and if you have any video request you want to ask me you can easily you can easily drop a comments below ah uh, you can see my room from there <laughs> i try as much as possible to cover up that thing but the devil is a liar so, when you pay closer attention to the detailing of the pockets you can see um, it's very very simple and uh, I'm very very plain also if you yet to subscribe to my channel make sure you subscribe and if you would like to try out my intensive class it's um you can visit my website at www.sewingworkshop.com.ng www.sewingworkshop.com.ng However, I will be launching the Sewing Workshop um, Android app very soon. So you can have access to my free videos, which is not on YouTube also. So that is it. So let's go straight to the Sewing Workshop. Let me just show you guys how to make this. And we're starting right now. So this is the very first thing I do. If you pay closer attention to this, you can see a mark around here. Can you see that? So I already mark out the pocket square out um, at the side of the pocket in which I want. It's going to be at the footer part of the pocket, which will be at the and right hand side of the pocket. So in between this, um, the center point of the uh, the center point of the borders itself, I leave uh, one point five inches between the pocket and the center point, and at this place also you can see it's one point five inch. So the total, yeah, the total of this pocket is at uh, 9.5 inch. We take a closer look. This is 9.5 inch, but the pocket itself is going to sit at nine inches plus the pocket cover. The pocket cover will be at half inch interval between the pocket and the pocket cover, which will give it a little bit of breathing space for the hand to go inside the pocket. And the total width of this pocket is at 8 inch. The height is 9 inch plus the pocket cover 9.5. The total is height is 8 is 9.5 and the width is 8 inch. So the very first thing I did is I cut out uh, exactly the same size of this pocket square. Can you see that? But I had just an inch to it so that I'll be able to fold inside this aspect can you get that so that i'll be able to fold in that part of the pocket the upper part of the pocket so the very this ne the next thing i did is i cut out my my shadow this will be the shadow for the inside of the pocket at uh we'll do that together i don't know how to put it <laughs> it's just going to be inside of the pocket side so it goes straight to this part you can just cut I cut enough actually so that I'll be able to like fold each of the edges. So we're going to go straight to the sewing machine now and we're going to do this together and one after the other. Then after I finish this, I'll cut out the pocket square and uh, we'll do the finishing. So let's go straight to the machine now. So the very first thing I did is I actually fold out my cover. I bend out one inch, which I, which is the allowance that I, then I actually curve these edges a little bit. Can you see? I curve the edges a little bit, and here, I make a little bit of curve to 
this if you look at it you see that it's a little bit curve can you see that make a little bit of curve around here down to this part so the very first thing i'll be doing now is i will be having this i'll be having this to the fabric so i'm going to, i'm just going to fold a little bit of inches here and i'll be placing it at this part then i'm just going to stitch it together as a very very tiny inch between at this point I'm just going to call it if you pay closer attention the uh, this is the front of the fabric and this is the front of the black also so I'm just sewing it on each one so when I get to this this is bad. I'm just going to make another turn. So here I'm just going to make it for here also. See how simple that is? So the next thing I'll be doing is just turning this over. If you pay closer attention to that, you're going to see it, uh, it's, uh, it's already giving us what we want, actually. So I'm just going to turn this over like this. Can you see? All right, I just like set out the camera. I don't like the angle. So I just turn this over like this. Can you see? It's giving me this particular feel. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be stitching this straight, but I will need to like change my I will need to change my my stitch color. I want the yellow part to be up and the black to be at the down part. So I'm just going to I'm just going to add the black at the down part. So I'm going to I'm just going to run a tiny inch this part. Make sure you hang the streets because this part will be obvious to anybody that's looking at the outfit. So your hand has to be very, very straight. I'm just going to stitch this along the way. So this is bits. I'm going to use this as bits. Make sure you turn it on the side also. Make sure there's no overlap. going to do that to the go to the front so if you look at this very well you definitely notice that we are getting to we're getting to where we are getting to <laughs> We're just getting to where we're getting to. So this is what we have now. So all I'll be doing now is all I'll be doing now is adding it to my to my top. I'm just going to 
place this right here. And at this point, the very first thing I'll be doing now is I'll be stitching this inside just a little bit at the tip of these edges. So I'll have to also change my thread. I have to also change my thread to black. So before fixing it to the border, the very first thing I'll be doing is just I'll fold this inside just a little bit, make a stitch in order to hold that pass down. I'll just make a stitch. Can you see that? last edge of this so can you see I just make a stitch at those edges right there. Can you see? Make a stitch at those edges. So now I'll be fixing it to the border itself. So now I'll be fixing it to the border itself. So from here, from the upper parts, make sure you The thing you'll be doing is make sure you're sewing at the tip of this part so that the other seal will not come outside. Make sure you're following your line. You get to that edges right there. You also make a U turn. Is that a U turn? Should be like a feet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like stick this. So make sure you're following the line. So now this is what we have. Can you see that? This is what we have. It's actually looking good to me. Yes. So the next thing I'll be doing is just I'll be stitching this part to the fabric itself. 
just be stitching that part so that it won't be like falling too much together. So I have to like shake the tray a little bit. So I'll be stitching this part so guys. It doesn't matter the part the black will actually show you a little bit here, so it's just a aspects I'm going to stitch this to around around the inch also this part So, so far this is what we have so all i have to do now is just to make the co pocket cover and run the ironing so here is the pocket cover the next thing i'll be doing on this is it's just the same size as of um eight inch the width of the pocket and the height of this is just 3.5 inch so the next thing i'll be doing on this is I'm just going to stitch this straight. So just stitch the edge of the pocket straight, then I'll attach it to the to the products itself. So here, so here we have this. And as you can see, it is actually the same size as of the pocket. So I'll be leaving the same space I told you guys, just an half of an inch, which is in front of the pocket here. So all I'm just going to do is just to stitch it. That point, this point. So now I will stitch it also on the top. So this is all we have so far. Can you see that? All you just have to do is take your time to iron it each and individual from the inside. You can see the sewing is not actually obvious here. So you're going to um, cut out all this, all this thread here. And you're going to iron it from the inside, from the back and the front also in order to like eradicate all these simple, simple wrinkles. So that is how to make uh, this kind of pocket. And I will see you guys again on another tutorial. Peace.
enjoy your day and uh, keep designing things keep making things